Yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. Yo, AI, you got a minute? Oh, uh, yeah, coach. Come talk just to about me. to head out for warm-ups. Look, I just wanted to say the coaching staff really appreciates what you've been doing for the team lately. Oh, thanks. It's always nice to hear. Absolutely. So with that in mind, coach is looking to expand your role. All right, we want you to be one of the first guys off the bench. Oh, you mean like, like the sixth man? Sure. Something like that. Just know that you're an important part of the team, all right? All right. Thanks, coach. Absolutely. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video. Just to let you guys know, we are playing on Hall of Fame today, so look out for that cheese. By the way, the assistant coach told me that I was going to be getting more minutes, becoming more of a, a role player in this scheme of the team. Now, I come in around the six-minute mark. Six minutes then went by. I don't feel like I'm a part of anything. And by the way, James Harden is already scoring while I come in. Now, it's 17-9. Just to let you guys know, I'm not used to this. When I play Hall of Fame, I'm used to the CPU on the other team end up by 30 by the time I get in the game. But check out McCullum on the fast break. Now, look at this. This looks like a little park dunk. It looked like he traveled, but we're not going to talk about it. Now, it's 24-11. to 11. Chris Paul, I don't know what he was thinking all game long. You're going to see some crazy mistakes from him. But check out the block. Yes, that's right. Athleticism wins every time. Now, I do have a few things that I need to talk to you guys about as far as Hall of Fame goes. Don't play on it. Okay, 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 okay. You can play on Hall of Fame, but be ready to get body. Okay, Hall of Fame this year is insane. Now, when the game first came out, for everybody who played the prelude, we were putting up 40 point, 50 point, 60 point games with ease. But as we finished the prelude, when the game finally dropped, we have come to believe that this pro difficulty that got upgraded was too insane. But Mike Wayne put out a tweet. He said, hey, you're playing on Hall of Fame this time around. What do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about the difficulty? And we like, bro, I can't get past anybody. I could die at any moment. Speaking of dying, look at this clip right here, man, from Twitter. Now, that clip right there, man, I got that clip from Juice, man. I don't know where Juice got it from, but I can tell you guys right now, that's what it feels like playing on Hall of Fame. Now, there's a couple things that you guys can do to possibly keep up with teams or even win games. You have to trust in the CPU on your team. That's the only way you will win. You cannot win a game by scoring all the points. Now, you guys see right there, man, we got a turnover. Of course, I ran down course spamming for that X. But I'm telling you guys, man, you have to believe in your team because if you don't believe in a team, you're going to lose by 30, maybe 40 points every single time you play on Hall of Fame. And what I mean by trusting in your teammate is if you're a point guard, right, and you're calling for a screen and that screen comes in when the person rolls or fades, nothing happens and you're stuck with your defender in your face, pass the ball. Give up the rock because all you're doing is wasting ample time on the clock that the offense can set something up and you could just play off ball um different things for shooting guards and small forwards though when you come down the court you're already playing off ball so you kind of come to the ball you call for it or you set a screen if you're setting screens always fade and roll never screen and just stand there if you screen and just stand there you kind of be in a way a little bit of clutter unless you have a knockdown shooter in front of you now i have damian lillard in front of me whenever i'm setting screen so i can sometimes set one screen and if i can kind of like turn my body towards dame 
it kind of like blocks it out like how people play 2v2s at park if you set that screen and he just dips behind the screen and shoots the three and he make it every single time the same thing goes for the cpu for your team now right here i'm in front of seth now i'm trying to get the screen right i fade and that's how you do it you screen and fade most of the time sometimes you screen and roll but if you guys notice the power forward and the center are both in the paint so you don't want to roll on those possessions now you guys see i use the screen to my uh effectiveness i guess you could say most of the time screens don't work and i'm not gonna tell you guys to keep calling screens all game long you don't have to call screens all day long. You can find out different things to do. Now, I'm 6'7". I'm a small forward and I'm a slasher. So, sometimes I go into the post. Sometimes I use the post to my advantage. Sometimes the post works out for me. Sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time, if I do get in the post, I can possibly get a dunk or maybe a teardrop. Now, fast breaks are always good for me because of my slashing ability because I'm like a wild card. They don't know if I'm going to do a spinning jump shot. They don't know if I'm going to do a fade. They don't know if I'm going to do a step back. They don't know if I'm going to do a teardrop, whatever the case may be. Now, you guys see right there, right? That pick and roll that I just did was very effective because I backed up. If I wouldn't have backed up and brung the double team to me, that would have been a turnover on me or it would have been a turnover on one of my teammates because I would have threw it under even more duress. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're looking at the score. You're like, this dude can't be playing on Hall of Fame. He has to be playing on Pro. It's no way he can have 25, 6, and 4 rebounds on Hall of Fame. There's no way. It's impossible. Is he a 99? No. I'm telling you guys now, I used this lead that my team got early on, and I just added to it. And the only reason I'm adding to this lead is because the CPU is actually allowing me. But right there was one of those moments where I said, you know what? I forgot I was playing on Hall of Fame for a moment. It knocked down three in his eye. Both our eyes, matter of fact, crazy. Now, uh, another thing I need to let you guys know is if you do play my career mainly, you can buy boosts if you want, but I don't buy boosts unless I'm playing online. Because sometimes when I'm playing online, I'm dealing with people that buy steal spam boosts. Yes, I'm calling out all you people out there that buy defensive boosts to steal the ball from us less fortunate dribblers. Okay? Now, let's get back into the gameplay for a moment. It's currently 95 to 79. And I just dropped another bucket, which means we're up 18 points here, right? It's 9 minutes and 50 something seconds seconds left in the game and we're up almost 20 now i get a nice block right there with a good shot contest and they sub me out now remember i'm playing on hall of fame guys remember i'm playing on hall of fame what do you think the score is when i come back in the game go ahead and type it in the chat right now i'll wait type it in the chat right now you won't believe how much they came back in nine minutes we are up only three points what happened to our almost 20 point lead you you see y'all might think this is a different gameplay y'all might be like nah i pa, hold it up you lying they ain't do that i want y'all to run the video back i want y'all to look at my stats before i got subbed out to the stats i got now look what happened hall of fame now i know a lot of people are going to say well houston does this all the time they go on crazy runs you know late in games and they come back and win games in real life man this is a video game i know this is hall of fame but this is a video game can we get a patch please now we only up one right i call for the screen come back out get the ball pull up no no how Melo got back to me Maybe Damian Lillard might have passed that slowly, but I leave Damian Lillard on Melo, and look what happened, fam. Look what happened. Literally, they're up to 30 seconds left. I don't know what to do. I'm scared to death. I'm passing the ball every which way. Guess who sells me out? CJCPU McCullough. That's right, man. CJ sold me out. Threw the ball clean, clear, crazy over my head. Well, he thought I was 10 foot 12. I know it don't make no sense what I'm talking about, but do y'all understand? Not only that, 
I come and get the inbound pass thinking I'm going to be behind the three-point line. And guess what? They said, no, 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 no. You're going to shoot this too, buddy. Oh, and guess what? We don't run full-court press. We don't run full-court traps. We don't intentional foul behind the half court. So not only that, they let time run down. The CPU on my team let time run down. What? What? Man, listen, I cannot make this stuff up, guys. Look at this nonsense here, man. I just pulled up because there's nothing else you can do here. Quick shots ain't going to help. We had no timeouts left. James Harden and the Houston Rockets come back from 18 points when I get subbed out to win the game by four points. It makes no sense how this happened. I cannot begin to fathom what the heck happened. I, I have to look at the box score. I think they might have scored almost 50 points in the fourth quarter. There's no way that we were supposed to lose this game. But that's 2K for you, man. That's Hall of Fame for you, right? Now, what I can tell you guys is I do have proof. I do have proof that I was playing on Hall of Fame. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Hall of Fame uh, difficulty bonus applied. There it is, man. There it is. It's me also grinding my badges. Now, every game I play up until all my badges are done are going to be grinding badges games. You won't see any games where I'm trying like new tricks and stuff like that. You're going to see a lot of teardrops. A lot of spinning layups, spinning shots, a lot of step backs, a lot of faders. Um, funny thing is, like, some of my badges have um, been maxed out since this gameplay. So, you know, I have posterizer on silver now and stuff like that. But i just been grinding my badges, man. That's that's really being it. But, man, Hall of Fame. I think we need a patch. If you guys think we need a patch, let me know in the comment section right now. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, by the way, send me screenshots on Twitter of you liking the video, and then I'll throw you guys a retweet as well. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to at y'all, man. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.